Hi Libra, welcome to your June 2018 forecast video horoscope. It's me, Maria De Simone from InsightfulAstrology.com. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel and for your very kind comments and for subscribing and sharing and all that love that you're showing. I really do appreciate it. And now let's talk about June. There's a lot going on in June, Libra. And you guys, oh man, I have such a message for you about love. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait a bit. I'm not gonna start there. I'm gonna start with the new moon. Okay, on June 13th, there's a new moon in Gemini that's going to fall in your ninth house. So let's focus on being open to expanding your spiritual horizons in some way. Okay. This new moon in the ninth house you may begin a metaphysical journey. You may begin a new religious journey, okay? And you might also decide it's time to learn more about a new subject. It's a great time to take on a new licensing certification course or to actually think about higher education, going back to school. Good new moon to do this. You're going to do it related to career advancement, most likely, because the ruler of this new moon, Mercury, is at the top of your chart now in the career sector. And so that the new moon's ruler is speaking about career and your, your path in life overall. So whatever you're doing to expand your knowledge base, it does relate to work, so not, not just daily work, your career path. And it's a good time to do that. Okay. Now, on the same day, Venus, the planet of love, your ruling planet of harmony, is going to move into your 11th house, the most social area of your chart. And Venus is going to remain here until July 9th. With Venus in your 11th house, you are going to truly enjoy spending more time with your friends. And normally, Libras are pretty social and good with people. Well, now you really want to be around your friends. You want to be more involved in group activities. You want to, Maple's saying hi, my little puppy, my mini poodle. You can probably see her. Yes, baby. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi to Libra. She's an Aquarius. Say hi to Libra. Okay. Anyway, you're going to be attending more social events, going to more parties, hanging out with friends, having fun. I mean, for some of you, this is going out dancing. For some of you, this is dinner parties. For some of you, it's, you know, just gathering friends at your house. Whatever it is for you, your social life is picking up without a doubt. And it's a great time of year to be more social in general. If you're single, the 11th house, it's so funny how the whole dating world has become an, an internet online experience, really, no matter what age you are. And... The 11th house connects to technology. So if you're single, Venus, the planet of love in your 11th house is actually a really positive time to sign up for a new dating app or a new dating website, meet someone online, through social media, all of that. Or the old school way, through a friend's introduction. Okay, all of these ways for you to meet someone when Venus is in your 11th house. Sometimes when Venus is in the 11th house, you realize that your feelings for a friend have now become much more romantic and more often than not the friend reciprocates so you might decide to explore romance between you and a friend it's not just a friends with benefits situation it's actually romance it's a really nice um, opportunity to start dating someone that you have been friends with first you already have that solid friendship foundation there but and here's the real but. Oh, Libra, don't hate me. Don't shoot the messenger, please, okay? Because I'm just, I'm here to tell you about Mars. This is my Mars class. Mars is the planet of action, energy, assertive drive. It gets us going. Mars is the gas in our fuel tank, okay? Mars rules libido and sex. And in case you haven't heard, June 26th, Mars is going retrograde. Happens once every two years, and it'll be retrograde for nine weeks until August 27th. 
for you, my Libra, Mars is going retrograde in your fifth house of fun, pleasure, sex. Yeah. Let's swallow that, that cosmic chill pill. I know. I know. I feel your pain. It is a double whammy. It's a double whammy message of sex is a no-go. <laughs> if you meet someone new and you start falling for this person and you feel like you've got a great connection, please take my advice and don't have sex with this person until Mars goes direct. Because if you initiate a brand new sexual relationship, Libra, while Mars is retrograde in your fifth house. When Mars goes direct, you're going to be very disappointed in that relationship. It's not going to be what you think it is. So you're better off waiting. Oh, the puzzle pieces just don't fit when Mars is retrograde in your fifth house. And I, I'm sorry. There's a reason. There's a reason why you're not supposed to jump into bed with this person, okay? And it might be a great match. It really might be. It just might be that you're supposed to delay it because you have to focus on building a good foundation with this person in other areas. And that, that's going to be worth it. It'll be worth the wait. Now, if you reconnect with an ex, different story. I can see a lot of you Libras hooking up with an ex-lover and having a grand old time during this Mars retrograde cycle, honestly. It's going to be like, whoa, yeah, I missed that. <laughs> You're going to get that back, and it could be good. If you're in an established relationship already, Mars rules your seventh house of partnership. And so some areas that you and your partner are going to disagree on and feel like you can't reach a compromise will have to do with children that you have, fifth house, or your sex life, or having fun. You know, maybe you want date nights and you're not getting them. You know, something's not right. You're not, there's no fun in, in the love relationship right now. And you're feeling like, like, have more fun, but we're not. And why aren't we? And you're going to spend this Mars retrograde cycle figuring that out. Okay, Libra. And if you are trying to have a baby while Mars is retrograde, you might uh, go back and you might have a little bit of a, of a rough time if, if you're seeking fertility treatments for any reason. It's a good time for that. Okay. You can fix what's wrong if there is already something wrong. Now, the other astrology I'm going to mention is a full moon that's happening on the 28th in your fourth house of home and family. And this full moon is really serious business. You might be totally serious about hunkering down. You might be moving. You might be creating a more solid foundation with around your home life. It's a really important full moon. There's a seriousness to it, okay? There's also stability here. I feel like there's an, an, an ending of sorts. So a lot of you are moving or you're um, letting go of something in your family life, a structure that's not working for you, okay? A physical structure or an unhealthy emotional tie that's not working for your family. You're kind of letting go of it. Some of you might hear some emotional news with regards to family during the end of the month. It is possible. Uh, but overall, this lunation is illuminating what needs to be fixed in your family and home life. And you, Libra, are committed to fixing it at the end of the month. Take care.